There it is, guys. One the only. Swirl it up here. Blaney the Younger. This is, uh, what time is it? It's about 1.45 on a Friday um, here at Breakwater. And uh, sitting out on the patio. Enjoying a little bit of sun. Clouds are coming in. But anyway, this is a nice casual environment. Uh, this is what? Maybe a 10 ounce glass for five bucks, which is actually one of the best prices I think I've heard of for getting plenty of the other. I've heard a lot of places probably charging about, you know, seven to eight, maybe even nine dollars for a pour this size. So. Really happy to uh, try this uh, a week old at this point, which is not quite as fresh as, you know, getting it there day release, but. Um, anyway, I've been drinking on it, but let's get the nose on it. As you kind of look down the, uh, towards the beach there. I don't know if you can see the ocean through the camera, but follow those palm trees and the ocean's right out there. So the nose has a lot of sweet hops on there, a lot of sweet orange, sort of like peachy, uh, that Simcoe kind of comes through a lot, the sweeter Simcoe nose. Orangey grapefruit, peach, probably dominate, touch of pine in there, but um, I think there's a lot of Amarillo on the dry hop for this. So um, let's get the taste. First thing I notice is it's not overly bitter up front, which Pliny, you know, regular Pliny the Elder isn't either. So Younger's drinks a little sweeter since it's, I think this year's batch is about 10.7% ABV. So um, there's a lot more sweetness in there. A lot more of that really sweet, bready, biscuity, this a little more caramel comes out too in this version than the regular playing the other the, the caramel malts are really kept to a minimum this one they they're probably about the same ratio in the in the malt bill but um, they're definitely a little more present you get a lot of hot you get more hot flavor than you get hot bitterness but overall it's uh, pretty balanced overall for for such a big beer so I know I didn't get spend a lot of time on this last year at Churchill's because that place was crazy. There's a ton of people. I was just trying to get my drinks, get a quick little video going, and that was it. So it's a little more end up this year since it's a little more. It's a really casual environment right now. So that's my uh, thoughts on playing the younger. I wouldn't go to great lengths to try it. Um, like for me, it was just paying attention to, to uh, you know, to Twitter to see what was going on. Before I came over here, and uh, you know, I just happened to be lucky because I don't work Fridays, so it's worked out. Um, you know, if you have the opportunity to try it without waiting in line too long, definitely do so. It's a, it's a great beer. Um, are there better double IPAs now that I just had Expo National Hoppiness from Alpine, which uh, I might actually open up one later today now that I've had this fresh? Yeah, Alpine Expo National Hoppiness is. Uh, <laughs> It's kind of on the same level as this one in terms of uh, how they drink. Like, there's a lot of hop flavors, not super bitter beers. Um, good malt character. You know, alcohol is about the same. But Expo has that more tropical fruit character, which I like more. Plus, they oak it. So, I think, in my opinion, that makes that a much better beer than this one. But it's still a fantastic beer. So, going on far too long on one beer sitting here as you stare at a glass. And, uh, now you can look up at the sun coming through there. Um, yeah, this is uh, Oceanside, California. Beach is, you know, maybe a little less than a half a mile down that way. So it's a, it's a really cool spot here, uh, redeveloped as part of the town. So check out Breakwater if you're, uh, if you're in town.